One of my trucks sound like a toot. <laughs> Hey me butts, I'm sideways. And now I'm upside right but small ways. And now I'm over here looking like a crazy person. And that makes sense and I must be crazy because I'm seriously about to do this for you. And you know what, just no one better ever say that I don't care about what you guys wanna watch. That's all I'm saying. This is for you. <laughs> Oh, what, what is going on with my, I got hangy hair. <gasps> Guys, I chopped off all of my hair. Just kidding. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. I wish I were kidding about this though. Sadly, I'm not. Dun, 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 what you see before you right now is a giant LOL house. This costs $305 Canadian, but do not worry, the irony is not lost on me. I always tell you to do your research, wait for sales, be thrifty. So, in the spirit of thriftiness, and you know, saving my money, I waited till this came on sale and I saved myself about $60. So it's not a big savings, but it's sure as heck better than paying $305. Spoiler alert, Jen hasn't grown, so I'm like way back here because that's way over there. Realistically, I'm literally five feet from this box and true story I have not grown any bigger since my last video still a t-rex so bear with me everything about this box is screaming saved by the bell to me that's like one of the reasons that I did decide to pick it up it says that we're gonna have furniture and the exclusive family we get six rooms three stories if you don't know what that means that means three different floors we'll have a moving truck a working elevator a spiral staircase day to night patio a rooftop helipad so I mean if they don't start selling an lol helicopter I'm gonna be really annoyed a real pool a hot tub and a sandbox. Okay, it's pretty dark. I'm trying to move the lights so that you can see everything and me. Hi. So basically this is what we're working with. This is very, very large as you can tell. There's my head. Hi. I'm gonna try to struggle and open this and take everything out so that we can actually move the camera closer again and check out what we're doing. I'm pretty stoked right now for this truck because obviously it's my favorite color, but usually when I'm super excited about things, I kind of get a little bit of a letdown. I'm hoping that's not the case this time because it does look super fun and I love me a good dollhouse. So, all right, let's uh, go. I'm thinking I might actually say words properly today. <laughs> I might literally film the entire making and speed it up. Maybe give you an idea of how much time it actually takes to assemble this. That way, if you get this, you'll have an idea of how long you have to wait before you can actually play with it. All right, so it's gonna be a struggle. Not everything is going to fit, but I'm going to kind of move this down, take stuff out, and that's the plan. Yep, so now I'm tall. <laughs> Let's just... Please don't fall off the table. This is legit the end of the table. Okay, Jen did not think this part out thoroughly. Styrofoam. Special delivery. <laughs> One of my trucks sound like a toot. <laughs> So this is our truck. It is the best color ever. It is the length of the other box, so it's just under three feet. It is big, it is cardboard. I'm not gonna knock that. I make a lot of great things out of cardboard, but I did hope that the wheels or like the truck itself would be useful to play with in the form of moving wheels and doors that open. We have a little sister and what looks like a grandma. On the front, you can see grandma and grandpa or maybe mom and dad, who knows? And on this side, you see same questionable dad or grandpa plus that same little sister. So either there's twins or she's bouncing from seat to seat without a seat belt. Not okay. It does say special delivery and LOL surprise. On the front, the license plate says number one fast 16300 truck. And on the back, we've just got some like tattoo looking jibbers. I'm gonna try not to destroy this box because I do want to keep it. So I suggest we peel carefully. What up? Guys, this is gonna be a long video. Here we go. Can you see inside there? <gasps> we've got our first box. It says it's a bedroom box. The box looks like it's taped closed like packing. They're pink and it says it's fragile. So I'm in Canada, so it's gonna have French and English. But anyways, one says bathroom, and it does have LOL themed packing tape, but you can actually pull that off. We've got an outdoor box, a living room box, a really big stuck box, what's this? This one is straight up stuff, guys, stuff. Whoa, that stuff is heavy. But I guess this is our family. We've got another living room box, closet. Oh, I gotta stand up now. Ah! Too short. Another outdoor box. An empty bag. Actually, something must have come out of it. It's our instructions. Oh, something else came out of there too. A background and another background, day to night. And we've got our for sale sign to assemble, some stickers and a photo for the wall and two last boxes. We've got another bedroom box and kitchen stuff. Oh, I lied, there's two more. I just can't reach them because, you know, I'm me. Okay, hold on. I legitimately cannot reach them. 
was effective. What do we have? We have one more bedroom box and another kitchen stuff box. So in total, we got 12 pink boxes and then the one blue box with our exclusive family in it. Here's what our background looks like. One side is a beach, one side is a city. Wait, city? Beach. Yes. As soon as it turns morning, you get a cityscape because the beach just disappears. You know, <laughs> nature. But no, you could just pretend you're somewhere else. But I mean, it's still pretty funny. As for our stickers, it says a little baby next door, baby next door, and puppy next door. And here's our stickers. And then our for sale sign, which we will assemble before actually looking at. And it's sold by Boss Queen because, you know, she's a boss. So I know I keep saying this, but whatever you weren't able to see, we will focus on after. This is just so you had an idea of what came in it. There's only so much Jen can do when her head isn't in the frame. I'm gonna clean this up and build our house. That way, once it's assembled, we can start opening these as a surprise and add elements to it. And it won't be like, hey, we opened all this great stuff, but now we can't use it because we have to spend however long building a house. Makes sense, right? Now I'm gonna struggle to put this thing on the table. Ah! My big heavy box was glued inside the box. That seems like a mean thing to do. I think in styrofoam, styrofoam is just as evil as glitter because it like statically clings to everything. And I dropped my mic, I'm sorry. Ugh, styrofoam. We've got some hardware, don't lose this. Okay, so what I can say, everything is nicely packaged. So I'll just skip this part and see you in a sec. So I know it's not looking like much because everything is really flat right here. I'm gonna look at the instructions and begin my build. Now things are about to get a little tricky on me because I don't have very much space to work with. I suggest you build this on the floor, but this is sped up for you anyway, so. Can I just say I'm not a fan of how this is planned out? They have me building one entire side and adding things across the top, which are not being held up on the other side. So as you're trying to screw things in, guess what? They're bending to the other side, which can crack your board. Cause this is not solid wood. This is just pressed laminated wood. So either have two people, which they suggest, or definitely have something to prop it up. Hold on, where am I? I guess they expect that we're gonna open the boxes first because the next piece that I need is actually gonna be in one of the moving boxes, which is kind of bumming me out because it's going to ruin the surprise because I gotta find that elevator. I'm gonna hope that it's maybe in the one marked stuff because I don't want to open the other furniture. I want that to be a surprise. Hmm. Okay, fingers crossed that it's in this box marked stuff. Here's what it looks like inside. Everything looks kind of like it's wrapped in newspaper printed tissue paper. Looks like I found what I was looking for this time. So the elevator and the stairs. And it looks like the missing pieces I needed. Excellent. We have an umbrella as well. Back to this. Oh no, don't fall apart on me. I'm just a bit too short. It is 11.35, it says 37 here, but I have filmed this part two times, so it's 11.35. It took an hour and 25 minutes to build this bad boy on my own. If you have help, it will be faster. If you use power tools, it would be too, but since this is pressed wood, I wouldn't recommend that because it can split easily. I'm gonna say an hour and 25 minutes because halfway through my camera was filled and I had to take footage off of it, which took 15 minutes to transfer, so an hour and 25 minutes. The only thing left now is to put on the cool see-through stuff on top of the roof and add the stuff to the pool, which is removable, so. We're gonna do that and then we can do other stuff. Woo! Also, I'm really sorry, but apparently I completely forgot that my camera has, you know, lift abilities. I just made you stay down in the short side for no reason. I'm so sorry. Button in windows over here where you can't see me. These are windows. Oh, I guess, ow, hit the camera. I guess I could show you. There you go. Now we can add our scene. So the scene holder pieces are not the most holy. 
What word am I looking for? They're not very secure. Let's go with that. I'm realizing now that you can't really see the blue because of the light, so maybe I'll swap it so you can see if pink works better. Is that any better? Not at all. We'll get a close up soon. Just, just work with me here. Okay, but guess what? I forgot what I was gonna say. Nope, I remembered. The major part of our work is done. Yay! So now, I'm gonna roll down for ya. Ooh, do you see this part under here? Our pool and stuff will be able to be pulled out. Do you also see that it's staining my table? Just saying. Where's our pool? Where's our pool? I built the pool. Here is our pool. Well, not yet. We still have to add pieces. So once we put those in, in a second, it should be able to tuck away. Yay! Excellent. Since I already have it out, let's just go ahead and build this umbrella. So you take the blue thing and you stick that one in it, like that, and then you put the, the umbrella part on it, and Viola, you got yourself an umbrella. Woo! Just so you know, I know it's voila. Viola is just funnier. I can't even remember what movie that's from. Do you know? If you do, tell me. Let's just throw that up there on the rooftop patio and get started on our boxes. Now it's time to move in. All right, so clearly this box is way too big. We'll keep the truck out of the way and we'll take the boxes and deliver them. Maybe we'll start with the living room first because it's on the first floor. All right, this is the living room box. First up, we have a gold tri-legged small table with a marble top, so it's black and marble. Actually, it looks like a, a pop socket for the back of your cell phone or your tablet. You've got this really interesting light. So it kind of looks like, well, back when I was a kid, we had these like chupa chup lollipops. They always looked like this. My favorite were the one with Spice Girls on them. So it's actually got a little switch here. They have batteries already in them, perfect. So next we've got a double-sided Velcro sticker and a gold disco ball. You'll put one side of the sticker to the disco ball and the other side to the ceiling. We've got this super interesting looking couch. It's got little red balls on the bottom. It actually reminds me of a granny with her walker or even in school, but like in kindergarten, they used to have tennis balls on the bottom of the chairs. And the tissue paper is so, so cute. And that was our first living room box. Now we have another living room box right here. It's time to see what's in it. Okay, so we have another tabletop. This one is like white marble with little black flecks. We have to assemble, so we've got this. It's gonna attach to that and attach to this, like a tall table. And then you've got a chair. Wait, no, that can't be right. That's too small. Did I make this up in my brain? Maybe. Hold on, that was right. It's just labeled for a living room, but it's not. That's a kitchen table. What is happening right now? Okay, I guess they're just shoving stuff in boxes all willy-nilly. This also says that it's for the living room. I'm pretty sure that they had it on this patio that pulls out because I remember seeing one of the dolls just hanging out with her feet up on the little ottoman. So I guess now we know the boxes and what they say they're for don't really matter because yeah, that was a kitchen and patio item, even though it was labeled as living room. So we're on to our first kitchen stuff box. Now we're gonna build high chairs. Oh, dropped it. So I put together the first one. I was a little confused at first because the front of the instructions and the actual picture on the box show a different looking high chair that doesn't have this black and white liney stuff. So it looks like they changed their design. Now I just need to attach the food. That looks good. It looks like they're having pizza and alphabet soup. So that's the first one. I'm to build one more. Put that there. Only babies can eat at this table because high chairs. So the big sisters will fit in here, but those are gonna be way too big for the little sisters. We've got another kitchen box. And it looks like we have a blue Cool Moth blackboard fridge open. Ooh, there's a surprise in the top. I didn't actually expect that at all. It looks like a pile of ice cubes and it has a removable gold tray. Let's put those ice cubes back in there. So we've got a top shelf, a bottom shelf, and two pull-out drawers. I really like this style of fridge. It's actually really cool. Add it to the kitchen. Looking good. All right, so our kitchen is starting to look very, very busy with all these conflicting colors and patterns, but I'm still kind of liking it, which is very strange. Let's get our first bedroom box going. Ooh, looks like we've got a very colorful vanity. We have a very strange looking contemporary chair. Here is the vanity. We've got drawers. I don't know if they'll all open, let's see. Look at that, they all open. That's a cheater's way to find out. Are the lights fake? But I thought for sure they'd be real. They look like they're real bulbs, but I don't see a switch. Never mind. So it doesn't light up, but it's still pretty neat. And we'll put it in the room that you can't see right now. You'll see it soon. There it is. On to our next bedroom box. 
We have a blue bed. Oh, we're missing a ball. We'll find it, hopefully. A black ladder. A pink bed. Oh, there's our missing ball. Bed on there. We got whatever that is. A slide. And some bedding. So now we've got options here. We can leave these as is, or we can turn them into bunk beds. For right now, I'll turn it into bunk beds just so you can see what it looks like. They don't fit. No! It doesn't match up there either. Hold on. Jen will figure it out. All right, so what I ended up doing was just squeezing it together and then pushing it in. So you could put either bed on the top or the bottom, or you can keep them separate and have single beds. When I was doing it, I discovered it says MC Swag was here. It says it on the bottom of this one and the bottom of the other bed, which is hard to see. From here, we can add this slide for them to get down, and we also have a ladder. Cool beans. Now we can decorate it by putting on our bedspreads. And they are definitely keeping up with the over stimulus of my eyeballs in the form of too many patterns, but it's actually still really fun. So we've got a pillow, so I'm putting the pink and black up there, and I'll put the blue and black down here because I'm a rebel. And then we have two very patterned blankets. So this one is so Saved by the Bell. If you don't know what Saved by the Bell is, ask your parents because it's awesome. This one here looks like flying ghosts or feet. I'm gonna put that one with that one. That one right there. So cute. Now we'll add it to the bedroom, which we'll take a close up of later. I know you're tired of hearing that by now, but aren't you excited that I'm excited? I actually really like this so far, guys. Here's what it's looking like so far. And there's up there, nothing's really changed. There's my living room. Nothing's changed down there yet. Still more to open. Next up, I'm going to open this closet box. And I find this one a little confusing because there is no closet, but I guess we'll find out in a second. Wait, maybe we'll get a closet. That makes sense. No! I ruined my nails even more. This is why I don't do my nails. Oh, cool. I have no clue what this is. Maybe this is the closet. Maybe it's a hanging closet. Maybe I should read the instructions or look at the box and find out. I guess it's technically the legitimate closet because they show it up in the room where the vanity is. These will actually hold the LOL clothes. So I guess it's a movable closet. There you go. That's why it was called the closet box, obviously. So we'll just put that right over there. Looking pretty snazzy. And we'll come back down here and move on to our next box. This one is a bathroom box box. If anyone cares to know why I'm delicately opening these boxes, it's because one, I like to reuse things. Two, they're actually really pretty. And three, if you're going to keep the moving truck, you might as well have the boxes. I mean, that's just a bonus. So yeah, let's check it out. Okay, this is the coolest thing right now. Oh my gosh. I legitimately don't even know what it does yet and I'm exciting, just, I am excited. That's the word I'm looking for. So excited that I can't speak. This bathtub looks, ow, hit my elbow. Hit my elbow. <laughs> it legitimately looks really, really cool. So it's see-through here and it looks like there's water in it. And from the top, it looks like there's bubbles and someone lost their pacifier or their soother or their binky, whatever you want to call it. So we've got the hot and cold taps and then our shower, but it actually it looks like it's gonna do something because there's batteries. Maybe it's gonna sound like a drain. Ready? We're gonna find out together. Oh, it lights up. Didn't see that coming. It's purple. I really thought it was gonna make a drain sound like water dripping away or draining away. You know what I mean? Still cool, but missed opportunity for sure. Put it right there. By the way, I'm loving all the details on this wall. It looks like it is popping out like an optical illusion. Even the cord has like shading, the toothpaste, all this stuff. It's got shading behind it so that it looks like it's actually there and hanging. Those are good minor details. Now onto what I can only assume is a super awesome toilet. There's a sound space at the back, which means some kind of sound's gonna come out of it. If it's not a flush, I'm gonna be really, really annoyed. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. There's so many things this is reminding me of. It's reminding me of Rugrats. It's reminding me of Saved by the Bell and it's reminding me of Rocco's Modern Life. I am like on a nostalgia kick that has nothing to do with LOLs or this house right now, but some of you might get that. <laughs> Anyways, let's open our golden toilet to reveal a black toilet. This looks like the inside of a, a black version of the Go Train toilet. That's a very Canadian thing to say. Anywho. Let's add it to the bathroom. The bathroom is the least conflicting, patterned, colorful room we have. Look at that. Color burst, color burst, less color burst, less color burst, least color burst. And down to the white tables. Let's open up our next bedroom box. Aw, we got a little cradle, like a rocking bassinet. 
That's actually adorable. It even came with this super cute little pink plush pillow. Look at that. Okay, let's add it to the room. Look how cute. I'm starting to think that this room is the bedroom slash playroom type thing, and that this one is a bedroom slash get ready room, but no bed, because that's a really big room to have for just a vanity and a hanger. I'm thinking since we're gonna be on the outdoor stuff now, we can open up our patio section. We're gonna find that heart. I'm thinking that it's in this box, because it's the only box that would fit it. As I suspected, this is our pool. So we have a gold ladder and a small pool. I guess this one's the hot tub actually. Our big one. So it's even separated in the center here. It's almost like one's supposed to be, well, it's like a broken heart actually. But it's like one's supposed to be shallow and one's supposed to be deep. There's little steps going down too. And then we have the ladder. Pop it right over here. Fail. <laughs> try that again. Pop it right over here. Wait, go Jen. So we can put water in there, but we're gonna try that in a bit because obviously nothing else is ready yet. But we can add our furniture. There we go. See, that makes so much more sense here. I mean, there's no reason you can't put it in the living room, but we're putting it here. Also, mental note, Jen, for future Jen reference. What's the message? I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, yes, don't forget, Jen. Take off the ladder before you push it under. Otherwise, you're gonna break it. Okay, thanks. I talk to myself sometimes, okay? Last box is an outdoor box, and that means that it's gonna go outdoors, obviously. And I think it's the sandbox. It is a sandbox. So it's hollow and it looks like sand with paw prints and footprints going through it. So you don't actually have to do anything else except put it there if you want to, which I'll show you in a second. But you can open it and put sand in it. All the sand that your LOLs come with, you can keep putting them in there. So there's a leash down there for a collar, a dog bone, and a pile of poop. So let's add that over here. And you know what? Since she's got her shoes there on the side, I'm gonna put the footprints coming off as if she had just walked right through it. See that? Continuity, that's what sells. All right, so we're taking a quick little tour here. So we've got our sandbox, our outdoor chair, which we could technically put anywhere, our pool with stairs and a ladder, our hot tub with the deeper section and a sitting on section. That didn't make sense, go with it. We've got our kitchen with extremely great details for the walls and everything, and all the little extra details that they've put into making it look 3D. Those are really cool. We've got our high chairs and our giant table, pizza for dinner with alphabets, a really cool fridge, and inside the fridge, I'm too short to open it. Inside the fridge, a giant pile of ice. Up here in the bathroom, we have a super cool toilet that works, a super cool light up bathtub, and MC Swag was here. Over into our bedroom slash playroom, we've got our rocking cradle slash bassinet, whatever you want to call it, a set of twins bunk beds with a slide, or we can make those into single beds. More details on the wall. We've got our get ready room with our closet and our vanity. The patio has nothing but the umbrella. We've got the living room with the light that does light up. The really cool disco ball, super cool couch, super cool table, and then the elevator. Oh, and then the helipad is up there. And I'm still waiting on my helicopter, lol. As our quick room tour, it's time to do other stuff. All right, so here are our stickers. I think you're supposed to open the fridge and stick it on the inside of the door as if like things were in the shelves and on the side, you know, stuff like that. Oh, and then the sticky notes and such for the front. But the problem here is, what if you wanna move it after? So here's what I suggest. I would take these stickers and first stick it to white cardboard and then cut them out because then you can move them if you want to, thinking with your noodle. Oh, and we have glow in the dark stars that you can put wherever you want. Then we've got this home sweet home sticker. We could put that on a wall somewhere. This is also telling us what sisters and pet we're gonna get. I stuck my gold ball down here because I wanted it here, but I think you're supposed to stick it inside the dress up room, but I like it better in the living room. Should I move it? Guess what? No, no, I shouldn't. You can buy your own Velcro. So I could literally just put a piece on the roof of every room and put my disco ball wherever I please. Booyah. All right, now it's time to make our for sale sign and my camera's moving on its own. What is happening back here? So for reals estate, let's build it. If you build it, they will come. So this one's simple, you just do this, but that's good enough. Next you do the things off camera so that you don't look like you don't know how to do the things. Seriously, come back, stay here camera. Okay, so that legitimately took me about 10 minutes to put that together because it just did not want to work. Also, this is the biggest sign I've ever seen in comparison to a house for sale. I'm just throwing that out there. Let's put our sign on and boom, it's like it was never a problem. So since our house is for sale, the only thing left to do is get our family that's going to move in. They're in this box. All right, we've got a whole whack load of surprises in here. I'm gonna put them all in the pool and go at random because I'm a rebel like that. She's 
smells very strongly of plastic, like a kind of a toxic -y smell. Her name is Lil Baby Next Door. So she is wearing that a swimsuit or a romper i don't know but it is white with polka dots and pink triangles up and down to kind of form a big diamond and it goes around to the back and she's wearing a full body fishnet for some reason which is showing up on her back and her legs her hair is black and white she's got a pink bow and a blue bow and her eyes are bluish purple next we have our pet and this is Puppy Next Door. It is all white with black and white hair, a pink bow, and a blue bow. Bluish purple eyes. I'm not really meaning to tear this toy apart, but I have to say that these two are the cheapest feeling dolls I have come across yet. And we have probably opened at least a hundred dolls since I've started collecting LOLs with my daughter. So that is saying something. My dog's nose is warped on one side. You can't really see it, but there's a blue bubble here. I'm not super fan of it. It kind of just looks creepy to me and weird with that big one giant eye. Anyways, so so it feels more like Lego. It's the flimsiest pet that I've actually got before. The flimsiest doll too. It's very, very thin. It feels like the leg is about to pop off. It just feels like a Lego leg. That's really strange. That's unfortunate. I was really liking this set so far. Hopefully it's just these two. Now for our little sister. Here we go. Here is our little sister, baby next door, and she is much better quality. She looks identical to her sister, except she's got a winking face. She's wearing like the exact same outfit, but hers is really, really cute. I'm not overly impressed with the quality of these two. I'm not a fan of them. I'm a fan of her. She's super cute. Time to open up our blind bags, because that's pretty much all we have left to do. I'm kind of annoyed that they didn't give us sand. Doesn't that seem like a missed opportunity? They give us sand for everything else. Where's the sand that goes in there? Whatever that is. Oh, we've got some shoes. They are white sneakers with blue laces and hot pink bottoms. We've got a cup, soda bottle, oh, dropped it. It's a white soda bottle, nope, not a bottle, soda can, pop bottle thing. Bottle as in baby sippy cup. What am I trying to say? It is a soda can cup. The words are failing me, but you know what I mean. Here we go. This is our puppy sippy cup, but it's not a cup. It is a carton and it's purple and blue and it fell. Okay, this is our backpack. This is what the little sister comes with. So it's a big white backpack with super 90s imaging on top. We've got a pair of sunglasses. What happened? When did they stop making the holes in the back of their ears to hold on their glasses? What have I missed here? They started making them bald and giving them hair that falls out, but they took out a very useful notch to hold on their glasses. Why do they still make the little notch part there if they don't give us the notch there? Am I the only one who thinks that's ridiculous? What is happening? All right, now it's just gonna dig into her scalp. Look at that. See, there's no notch. I don't know if you'll see that. So it's bending her head in. It's creating a bubble. That's terrible. Poor girl. And she's starting to look like Elton John. Next up, oh, it looks like we have a tablet. And somebody has been shopping for a disco ball. Maybe they needed a second one so that Jen didn't have to move it room to room. Oh, we have another pair of sunglasses. Those are cool. Aren't those awesome? Let's swap out her glasses. Putting them on whoever I want. How cute. She's getting cooler. And the dog can wear the pink ones. She's got a pair of white overall shorts with a hot pink shirt underneath and white squiggles all over it. Got some blue straps and blue stripe around the bottom of the shorts. I'm gonna put that on her body. That is so much cuter than what she was wearing underneath. I like her more now. Too bad she's still pretty flimsy. That's it guys, the only thing left is just some wall mounting assembly stuff. We've opened everything else that we got. So now it's time to set up our house and add some friends. Oh, before we do that, Jen is so smart she just figured it out. It is a cone of shame. When you take your pet to the vet and they get a Cone. It's not a cone of shame, I'm just kidding. But if you watch. So here's what everything looks like now that I've added my own stuff. Down here I've used some My Little Pony stuff, Party Pop Teenies, Shoppies, I don't even know, other stuff to make an awesome little table spread and now they can have a party. I've added some hot water and some cold water to the pools. When I added the ice water to the big pool, it actually produced a hidden broken heart line, which is pretty neat. I've also taken the slide off of the bunk bed so that we can use it as a slide for the pool. We've got our custom some little mermaid here. She is hanging out, catching some rays. We've got our bonbon here, just hanging out, playing some Nintendo. This does not actually come with sand, so keep the sand from your pets. And we've luckily found a use for our Tootables pig in the form of a climber. So now our baby sisters and brothers can enjoy climbing on this really strange, squishy pig apparatus. Moving on to the living room, we've added some props, like fake mustaches and hats and glasses. We've got some popcorn, mac and cheese, and cell phones on the table. Of course, the light is there, and we all know that light's up already. Our dolls are on this super huge couch just hanging out. We've added some shoppies elements and some custom made paper craft candies. We've added some umbrellas and hats to a bucket in case the weather changes. And Punk Boy here is ready to give us a show should he choose because we've added some My Little Pony props like this guitar and a DJ booth.
booth. And once we put the booth in front of him, he's ready to jam. Moving on to the kitchen, I didn't actually add too much because unfortunately it would block all of the pretty neat stuff that they've already got on the walls. So what I did do was just add a little cup from a Shopkins fridge so that we can have a trash can and some Shoppies playset food, which of course we could swap out at any time because it's just chilling on the table. And you can put stuff in the fridge, of course. Here we are in the bathroom. We've got the toilet that came with the set as well as the bathtub and the big sister. But I did add some Shoppies playset stuff so that the baby sisters have a perfect size tub. The sink is from La La Loopsie. We've got our cloud of corn back there looking grumpy. And we've got our little banana koala. I have added a basket that came with the Biggie surprise pet because they make perfect hampers. You can fill it with extra clothes and it looks like you have to do laundry. And the shoppy slippers here that come with the bathroom set actually fit on our big sister dolls. And she's standing on a shoppy's basket too. I have added some hot water to the bathtub so that we can check out some color change stuff as well as obviously the pool. We could check there too. But I'm making sure that I put water in here because I want to see what the water looks like once we turn the lights on on the shower. The next room is actually my busiest room. Room. I have filled it with loads of toys using num noms, shoppies, um, lol stuff, my mini mixy cues, random toys, some handmade toys like doll houses and wooden peg dolls. It might be hard to see them back there. We've got some mini boos, some poopsie stuff, some smushy mushies, some Nintendo toys from McDonald's. These are all perfect. I've made a Nintendo and a GameCube and some controllers and a CRT TV to play on. We've added some trolls and some more peg dolls, some Pokemon. On, some Lala Loopsie stuff to make this even more full. It is literally perfect. So here we've got little baby doll. She's one of my absolute favorites. She's reading Beauty and the Beast and actually having a little tea party with Chip and Mrs. Potts. And I'm pretty sure this is my favorite part of the dollhouse that I have added because the scene is just perfect. I didn't really add anything to the walls um, because I didn't think of it, to be honest. But I did add more of the Shoppies playset stuff. They're actually perfect size to be play furniture. This is the rooftop patio. We've got some custom dolls, a pet carrier, a plant, the umbrella that comes with it. I've added some vinyl pop minis. So we have Dr. Hooves and Twilight Sparkle. We've got my custom tube star over here and an archway from a My Little Pony set. In the back, we've got some neon on orange skis from a Barbie and a carriage that's actually from Dollar Tree. But true story, it's the perfect size for the baby sisters and for the LOLs to push. Moving on to our last room. This is almost like a get ready room, but if you added a bed, it would be another bedroom. So to this room, I have thrown some clothes onto the hangers. I've added lots of sunglasses and props to make it seem as though it's a get ready room. I've used some La La Loopsy playset stuff because it's super cute, like these mirrors and this poofy chair. So cute. I've added some little clothing items into the table back there. I've put a pizza on, some Starbucks nail polish, a beauty palette. It's actually pretty cute because I was able to put some stuff inside of the tiny drawers. We've dressed up our dolls, added more props. There's another little shoppy set so they could do some laundry. Speaking of laundry, there's another perfect hamper from a biggie surprise pet. And there's laundry on the floor. Clean your room, ladies. And up on the top here, I've got Captain Carter. And she is waiting for a helicopter that will sadly never arrive because there isn't one. Sorry. So there you have it, that's our dollhouse, the way I've decorated it so that it's more full of life and fun. So the only thing left to do is test out the water abilities of the dolls that came with the house. Oh, and quick before I start, look, I turned the light on. Cool. I thought it would reflect the water a bit more, not gonna lie, it doesn't. So I've got some hot water ready and some ice cold water, we can tell because Dawn is already turning blue. So we're gonna find out if our pet color changes in cold or hot or none at all. Let's try hot first. Nothing appeared to happen in the hot water. Try the cold. So something's happening, let's see. So we get black makeup around one eye, which was already there, and it looked really weird. We get some blue makeup around the opposite eye, which is great because before it was just black and it looked really strange. I think that was one of the things I didn't like about it. We get some black stripes appearing in the hair, makes it really cute. And we also get a bathing suit that shows up. So black and pink triangles, and then a bright pink bottom with black spots. There's a defect on my, my pup here, a big blue spot on its nose. <laughs> Okay, I like it better now that it's in water. And now that it's in water, the plastic has firmed up, which is really good because before it felt really, really flimsy. But I mean, once it's not cold anymore, it's probably gonna feel flimsy again. So let's suck up some water and let it squirt out. Boop. Next up, the baby sister next door. Here she is. We'll try cold water first since we're over here. One, two, three, down she goes. Oh, and she's a cold changer too. Go for a swim. Maybe we'll send her down the slide before checking her out. One, two, three, wee. She basically just gets stripes in her hair and on the bottom of her bathing suit. Let's throw her in the hot water so it's all white. A black triangle appears in the pink. And there you go. 
And lastly, we have our big sister, so let's take off her dog's glasses because they looked better. We'll try to see if her outfit color changes too. And since we're already at the cold, we'll start there. So her outfit does not color change, and it looks like she's a cold changer as well because her hair added some black stripes. It makes her cuter too. And once again, her head actually got a bit more firm with the cold water. That was one of my problems before is that her head was really, really thin and squishy. It wasn't really good quality. It felt very, very cheap. So we'll have the same problem once you take her out of the water again. But once she's cold, she looks better. And she's a spitter. Let's take off her outfit and see what it looks like underneath when it's wet. Dunk her in the hot to make her look normal again. Back to her regular outfit. So it's white and pink with pink fishnets. And her head feels really, really thin again. And now let's try her in the cold. Three, two, one. So she's got her black and white hair back. It fades away really quickly. And she gets black stripes along her bathing suit, just like the little sister. She also gets black socks on with triangles on it. It's easier to see if we keep her in the water. She's swimming. There you go. Oh, Jen dropped her. Pretty cool. All right, guys, it's time for the good, the the bad and the ugly, the honest to gen truth. So overall, I'm gonna say the price point for this, even without a sale, is actually pretty decent. The majority of wooden doll houses are already around $200 and up. I'm gonna say it was worth it, especially since this is a big brand and now. I was wrong earlier when I said 260, found my receipt. So on sale, I got it for 229. That makes it even more worth it for me. The amount of stuff that comes in the dollhouse is actually pretty great. The detailing on the walls, the shadowing, the colors, the theme, it's all pretty awesome. Awesome. The fact that it already comes with batteries, things light up, you can attach things, and technically you have a working elevator. Those are all big pluses. It's pretty cool. There are color change abilities, there are hidden areas, like you can open the fridge, open the sandbox, that's all really cool too. The things that I thought were bad, and it, there's actually not that many. The big sister and the pet, they were pretty thin, they had blotchy paint, and the quality was not excellent. They did get a bit firmer once we put it in the water, so I'll forgive it. The sandbox does not actually come with sand. I feel like that was a really easy thing that they could have done. It's not that heavy to give you a small little bit of sand. I mean, we pay $14 for a dog or a cat on its own or a bunny and it comes with sand, so why couldn't you just give us sand? I also feel like there could have been more items to go on to the patio. Realistically, they give us one umbrella. I know you can technically move any of these items around the house, but they do give you a fair bit of items, at least two per room, so only one umbrella is kind of a bummer. I feel like they could have added something different up there. And one other bad thing, which which isn't actually bad is that almost everything in this playset is too big for these dolls, which makes sense because they're supposed to be little sisters and babies. It does make the house look emptier. And now time for the ugly. And the ugly are like the worst of the worst things that just really, really irked me. So it really bothers me that the elevator is very stiff. Maybe if they had little roller balls or something in there to help it glide, it would be better. Like I know it needs to be able to stay at each floor, but maybe not having to push down with all my might would be a little bit easier to play with. I also really really did not like the for sale sign. Yes, I liked putting it together, but it took a lot of tape and a lot of patience and it's still leaning and falling apart. I feel like that should have been a hard plastic item. And the paint that is lining each room in this dollhouse, like right along here, is actually staining the tabletop. And when I got them out of the box, they had rubbed together and I wasn't actually able to wipe it off of the painted walls. So I'm pretty annoyed there. Here, check it out. See that? I can't get that off. I've wiped it. I've used Goo Gone, I've used warm water, cold water, gently scrubbing, and it does not come off. And that's not the only one. There's a few more. So I'm aware that that's just mine. Maybe mine rubbed in the box and not everybody's will. It's really annoying that now I've got this big stain across more than one of the walls in my dollhouse that cannot be removed. So I only used this part to test the doll for a minute and take a picture. The sticker or the paint is already peeling off of this patio because a little bit of water got right here on the edge and down here on the bottom. So now it's warped and bubbling and I'm an adult doing this and I only dropped a few drops of water. So can you imagine once the kids start playing in this, I highly recommend having a towel ready and be prepared that it's most likely going to peel off eventually because you cannot give us something that is intended to hold water and not expect this to happen. So I feel like this should have been a bit better planned out. Maybe like a vinyl sticker instead of a paper sticker. And probably the same issue with the bathroom because the bathtub doesn't leak, which is awesome. It can hold water. But once the dolls come out of there, you're going to have this problem. So this is my last ugly truth. Why is there a helipad? Not only is there no access to it from the elevator or from the actual upper patio, like there's no ladder, no pull down thing, nothing. There's no way to get up there. So you can't access it. And LOL hasn't even given 
given us any cars, bikes, anything practical yet in the form of a vehicle, but they gave us a helipad. If we haven't even had cars, bikes, scooters, or strollers yet, how are we gonna go from nothing to a helicopter? Do you see the problem with that? LOL, I expect a helicopter and a whole line of transportation vehicles from you because you've done this. All right, guys, there you have it. That was the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm actually gonna give this house a big seal of approval. I'm giving this a 9.5 out of 10. Overall, the quality is not bad, and I totally acknowledge that not everything that's wrong with mine will be wrong with other people's, so that's okay with me. The fact that everything is bigger actually makes it perfect for larger dolls like Barbies too, because they all fit as well, which is awesome. Um, and if you've got some 90s Barbies, they could totally have a killer time in this house. If you know somebody who absolutely loves LOL, or they were thinking of getting this, or you want somebody to watch this so that they could determine whether or not they should get it for you, I'm not gonna judge, make sure you share this video with them. And if you enjoyed this video yourself, please make sure you remember to comment, a like, and subscribe. Keep me in your thoughts when you wanna buy something in the store, because I'll let you know the absolute truth about what you're getting, what the quality is, and if other YouTubers are making it seem greater than it really is. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.